welcome back to Desert Valley Homestead. I'm Britton. Yes, I have a cold, so I sound a little funny. That's okay. Um, so the last two videos I had filmed were lost, or most of them were lost due to some technical difficulties with my phone, and I'm not able to restore most of them, but I do have a couple clips that I'm going to go through with you and kind of explain what we did while we were, um, MIA for a few weeks there, so let's let's go do that. So I lost all of our recording footage before this of us making these walls and setting boxes, um, but this is us pouring the second pour for the floor walls and to get it high enough to hold um, when the dirt is pushed up. So it's sort of back filled up, and this we have to go back in and off four inches on the inside to lay our pad in so that it, there was a lip connecting the footer wall to the pad. And this is where me and Jackson were setting and creating the where the beams are going to stand. So that four bolt pattern that you saw, that is where our beams will be standing on in the footer wall. Here's my husband trying to get them in, in between all the rebar and extra stuff in here. It was extremely frustrating to work against the clock and the rebar to get everything set before the concrete set and in the right places. And I'm sure we'll have to go through and drill some out and reset them once everything's ready to go. So after this step, we put in pipes um, for sewage and water and con like conduit to run our wires through and the floor and then we leveled it and then laid the f blue foam you see and then the pecs um, oh. but I lost all of that so this is them pouring the concrete yeah. pad and we hired out a team for this just because it was something a little out of our scope of capabilities because we didn't have the equipment um, but, and they just made it so easy and so nice to just be able to come and help instead of worrying about how me and Jackson were going to get it done all by ourselves. This is us pulling the blankets off on Sunday and we're getting ready to work on filling in the garage for its pour hopefully in the next week or so. This is us putting in drain boxes like yesterday. Here's us covering it all up last night. It was a whirlwind. So as you can see, it's been a little bit crazy these past few weeks. We've done insulation, sewer, pipes, um, conduit for our power and our water to run underneath the pad so we don't have to jackhammer all of it up to access it later. What else have we done? We've done our heating, our radiant in-floor heating, which is those orange PEX lines that you saw in those videos. And the insulation, the blue foam insulation oh, um, that the PEX was set on top of, um, it was supposed to be able to click into it. It did not click into it. We had to go in and strap it down with screws and this these little metal straps, and it took forever. It was, it was so cold, but luckily our kids are very patient with us while we got that project done, and we got it. We were able to get it done in two days by ourselves. Um, just because it was over Thanksgiving weekend and people were not able to help us. And that is, that's just fine. It was extremely frustrating though. Um, reaching out and asking for help and having nobody capable to come and help us. But that was something we had to learn. That is, it's going to happen. If you want something done, you just got to go out and do it. Because nobody's going to come and save you. We are working on the garage part portion. So yesterday, we were putting in those drain boxes for the garage. Now we are going through and leveling it out to lay rebar and the PEC system for the heat in the garage because that is going to be a more climate-controlled space as well because we'll be, we will be having uh, cold storage in there. And for sake of freezing, we get down to negative temperatures here in Utah. And we want a warm space to come and be able to pull things in and work on them there. Um, I just want to say thank you for everyone watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you next time. Bye.